morning, hi. It's not even morning anymore. I don't know why I say good morning. Hello is what I meant to say. Happy 11th. Today is the 11th and this is the day that I do author updates usually unless I uh, forget or cut my finger or something like that. I don't really know what there is to talk about this month because I told you the big news. The last video I made opened this box and I showed you patent pending. And I'll get that really close to you and leave you see that for a second because I was kind of all around and so excited that I didn't really show you what it looks like. I think I did show you the back cover because it's so light. The other day I finished reading through it. I read all of these pages. I made some minor changes like I thought I would and I'm very happy with the minor changes. So I think it just makes the book even better. It wasn't that big of changes. It was just like little words here and there. Ellie took nicer pictures of me for my author photo. And so I changed that. I changed the color of the back cover. But besides that, it's not much different. Hopefully though, the color is gonna be really good. But if they're not, that's gonna be really unfortunate. That's what I'm really concerned about. But last night I sent it in to be reviewed because Create Space reviews it and make sure that it meets their requirements. I'm not entirely sure what they do. I ordered another copy. I'm supposed to get here the 20th. Hopefully it will come much sooner than that. Create Space is so good about that. It usually comes way sooner than they say it will. Once it comes in, once I see it, if it's the right color, it should be done and I should be able to get it to you as soon as possible. I'm kind of stressed out about what to do about the date of releasing it. I didn't have a problem with this before because I published them on Christmas and then on New Year's. I don't know what to do now. Kathy and my mom have been saying, well, oh, maybe you should publish it on Valentine's Day. And I did publish the ebook of The Way He Looks at Me on Valentine's Day last year. So I'm kind of like, eh, maybe I should, but at the same time, like, that's over a month away, guys. I don't really want to wait that long. But I might, I don't know, I was thinking of February 1st, I was thinking maybe February 14th, and then Ellie said maybe February 29th, because it's a leap year this year. I don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully it will be published in February, though, because I am so tired of waiting to publish it, because it's it's done, it's good, it's ready to go, and I just am waiting and waiting and waiting, and I can stop talking about this now. I've still been working on my poetry book. It's got, I think, close to 80 poems now. It's really coming along, and I, I have an idea for what I want the cover to be, and I want my mother to read after midnight so I can work on putting that on Kindle Scout. I have all these things lined up, and I'm just impatiently waiting to give them to you. I wrote 29, I think, poems in the month of December. I'm very happy about that because I've been writing a lot of poetry. Not all of it is excellent, not all of it makes it into the book, but it's just therapeutic and it makes me feel good to have something written, even if it's not all that good. I like to fill up my notebooks. Uh, what are notebooks for? I started reading them out loud just to myself and that very much pleases me. It is so good to read it out loud. I can't tell you, like, if you're a poet, you should read your poems out loud to yourself. That's what I have to say. You probably will cry if you're like me. I'm just gonna warn you. When I'm saying out loud how I feel, sometimes it just hurts and so, that crying happens. New Year's Eve, I spent it with my family and then we came home for midnight. I just worked on my poetry until 11.55 and then I turned off my laptop and I watched the last couple of minutes of whatever show Pitbull was on because I heard Pitbull and I was like, okay, yeah, let's watch this. And then I watched the countdown and that's how my New Year's Eve went, uh, so it was good. I spent New Year's Day with Ellie and Michael and my family, so that was good as well. We made a video for you that I have to release soon, I just don't know when. I think it should coincide somehow with the release of the book, because it's the three of us, you know. I think that's all I have to tell you. I still have a bunch of videos to share with you, and that's all I think I have to say. I 
don't know, this video can be done, I guess. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, did you hear that? Get quiet. I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have been charging my batteries while I was recording. So, thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope your New Year's is still going well. And, um, sorry, I'm distracted. I hope your year is going well. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And thanks for watching me stutter my way through a video. I will see you next month and whenever else I decide to release my videos. And bye. <laughs>